Alright, hello and welcome to Snapsockets SC Sounds of Jake's Dream again. This is the first video of today, and we're going to be doing project number 623 AM radio with power LEDs. So, this is not your average AM radio. It uses D1 and D2 LEDs to indicate that the AM radio is powered on and that sound is coming through. Alright, so this is one of the more complicated projects, as you can see. And let's get right into it. All right, this requires two batteries, as you may have guessed. The first one's gonna go down to E10, and it is highlighted in red for some reason. Outlined in red, I don't know what that's about, but. And the second battery is gonna go hanging way off the top over at A7. So we're gonna need some clearance on that, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna have to move this up a bit. So that, that has some clearance. Okay, now. We're going to be adding a huge long 7 that's going to be going over at G3, it looks like. G3. Or no, G2. Okay. Now, we're going to be having the C something capacitor. The C1 capacitor. I couldn't see that. So this is 0 0.02 ultrafarad. It's very small. Weight tension is critical again. It needs to be just like this. Not like that. So it's going to be going way over at E1, on the side of the board. Okay, now we're going to be having the top resistor, the R5 resistor, right here, which is 100k ohms. And this needs to be the correct orientation, otherwise it may not function properly. So it needs to be just like this, not like that. That's going to be going over at B1, just like that. And then we're going to have a 6, that's going to be going, if I can get it out, and it's going to be going over at A1, A1, just like this. Okay. And now we're going to have a 4, that's going to go between this A10 and all the way down here, D10. Okay. Alright, now we're going to have the U4 power amplifier. I'm going to get this out from under the manual. Use this. Alright. Now, that U4 power amplifier is going to go over at C6, just like this. C6. Okay. Orientation is critical again. It needs to be just like this because we're going to have the RV coming in over here. You can't have it the other way around because there's going to need to be something in the middle. Okay. So, we're going to have a 1 here that's going to go over at C5. 2, 3, 4. This is not down properly. C5, just like this. Alright, uh, it's not C5, C5, okay. Next we're going to have a 2, that's going to be going over at E5, it looks like. Look like this, alright. And now we're going to have the U5 uh, integrated circuit. On the manual it says integrated circuit, but the part actually says high frequency IC. So this is the U5 here, and that's going to be good. Orientation is critical. It, May look confusing, but what it needs to be is it needs to be just like this, and not like that. All right, that's going to be going over at what appears to be G three. Okay, and next we're going to be having anything else for all level one parts. Anything else? Yes, we're have we're gonna have a parade of LEDs. The D one here. Orientation is very important. The plus needs to be over here, not over there. And it's gonna be over at uh, B eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like this. All right. And then we're gonna have the same thing for the D two right next to it. Orientation is important. Same on the D two. All right, and then. We're going to have a 3 that's going to go over at F7. A, B, C, D, F. Okay, A, wait. Uh, everything is covering it up in here. A, B, C, D. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this resistor back on over here, the correct orientation. And this 3 is going to be just like here. Alright. Next, we're going to be having uh, what appears to be anything else. Anything else for all the level one parts, or if we can, or can we move on to level two now? Yes, I think we can move on to level two parts now. So that's going to include the A1 antenna coil. Very important for this. Looks like this. It only operates at very high frequencies. So that's going to go between this here U5 and the R5 resistors. Very heavy, actually. There you go. 
go. Now, we're going to have the adjustable capacitor, which is how we're going to tune this radio. And then it's right here. It's a little bit chipped, actually. It's interesting. All right. Well, that's going to be going backwards, actually. The orientation is very important. It needs to be like this, not like that. And that's going to go between this here capacitor and the high-frequency IC. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to have the, um, a, the two that appears to be going between this two and the huge long seven. And then we're going to have the S1 slide switch going like this between the B1 battery and seven. Huge long seven, right like that. And then we're going to have another two going between this four and the B1 battery pack, right like that. And then we're going to have another two going between this B1 battery pack up here and the four. And then we're going to have another two, <laughs> crazy, going between these two LEDs. And then we're going to have a three that's going to go between this U4 power amplifier and the B1 battery. And then we're going to have another two, you guessed it, going between the U4 amplifier IC, right like that. And then another three. This is our last three before we have to divert to reserve. Going between this pin of the U4 amplifier IC and this huge round seven. Okay. And now another two going between the C5 capacitor and the C1 capacitor, um, going between this seven, just like that, all right. And now, speaking of capacitor, we're not quite time for that yet, but uh, what we're going to have is we're going to have the RV just about volume resistor, which is what we're going to be using it for here. Orientation is very critical again, it needs to be facing just like this way, not like that way, so it's going to be just like this. And then we're going to have it over at C5, under the V1. Five, just like this. It's going to go between these three pins. Just like that. Now we're going to have the R4 10K ohm resistor, which needs to be just like this, not like that orientation. So it's going to go between this U4 and the U6. Alright, uh, next we're going to have anything else, anything else from the all level two parts. Um, anything else at all? Or is that it? There might be iterating, but nope. We need another one, uh, two that's going to go between this and U5 and the huge long seven. All right, and it does appear we forgot a one from back in level one. That's going to go right here on this pin of the U, the RV. Okay, and then we're going to need another one that's going to go between this A5 right over here. All right, then we're going to need another two. Another two. We're going to run out of two soon. We need to get this one out. Those right. are being hard to get out today, aren't they? Wow, please. What's going on? Right, that's going to go between this R5 resistor and the 6, just like this. Okay. And then we're going to need a 5. We're going to need a 5. We're really running down on parts. That's going to go between this uh, A4 and high frequency IC U5. Okay. All right, now what we're going to be having is a parade of resistors and diodes. So we're going to have an R1 base resistor, which is the 100 ohm one. Uh, orientation is very important. It needs to be facing this way, not like that way. Although it may not matter, but in some cases it could damage your part. So this is very important. So it's going to go just like this between the 3 and the D1. And then we're going to have the D3 diode. Remember the D3 diode right oh, up here. And it's going to be just like this. The orientation is very important. Plus, it needs to be here, not like that. So, let's go between right over here. All right. I think that finally concludes all level two parts. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let's go right on to all level three parts. That's going to include an SP speaker just like this. Orientation is critical. It's the red type, 8 ohm over with 5 watts. So that's going to go between this 5 and the 3, just like that. Alright, and now we're going to be having anything else. Anything else. Yes, we're going to be having the C4 capacitor, Mega 100 Ultra Farads. Uh, orientation is critical. The plus needs to be here, not over there. That's going to go between this. RV in the 6 right next to the R4 resistor. Oh, oh yes. Oh dear, that looks like we have some incorrect positioning on that. But we're going to remove this one. Because I think we put an unnecessary one down. So it's going to be just like this. Alright. 
That might be it for all of this sword. Oh, we have another two that we need to put down. We're only getting down on two, so we have two left. Let me get this out. Alright, so that's gonna go between this two and the other two. Lots of twos. Alright. And now we're gonna be having is anything else, anything else for all level uh three parts until we finish this year project. Oh uh, nope, that appears to be it. Oh uh, nope, we missed a C2 capacitor. Right right here. And it's the 0 0.1 ultra fair as one. Orientation is critical, it needs to be like this. There's no plus this time for some reason. Not like this. So it's gonna be um oh dear, we forgot a one from the previous Level one needs to be right over here. And then, then place, oh dear, that is not correct. All right, but what we need to do is we need to do just like this. It's gonna go, whoa, what a second, what? What? Oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. Um, it appears that we have placed the SP speaker in the incorrect position. All right, I'm gonna remove that. So the five comes down, it needs to be just like this, yep. One goes under it. All right, and then the SP speaker is going to be going just like this. All right, I think that's finally it. So let's turn it on. Oh dear. It is. What the? Okay. What is going on, man? Alright, something is totally not right in this, alright guys, alright. Um, something is not working. I'm going to turn the volume way down. That does not help. Yeah, something's missing. Uh, what's going on? Alright, time for a full troubleshooting check. What did we miss? Because we obviously missed something. Um... Scanning around because we might have missed. Yeah, I don't know what is happening. Remove the speaker. Yeah, I don't know. What is going on? Um, the antenna coil is here. What if we remove the antenna coil? Oh, so it's not the antenna coil. It's doing it. Alright, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't get this at all. What is happening? What is happening? I mean, what could be the cause of this? I don't know. Uh, short circuit anyway? I don't know. Oh, uh, we have a three down here. We have a two going up. We have a speaker. We have a two going up. We have everything. We have a three. It seems like we have everything installed correctly, but oh dear, we have a two missing. I mean, that's what happens. Alright, uh, we need to have an adjustable thing going between the A1 and the C, C, B. See if this works. Okay, that doesn't do anything. That does nothing. So what is there going on? I'm not sure. I'm not sure myself, so I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But this is pretty crazy. But this is pretty crazy. I don't know what to do on the situation of this circuit. Could be bad parts. Maybe it's this CV that's bad. I'm not sure. I guess if I should try removing the CV. Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know with this, you know. It's just crazy. Everything is in the correct orientation. And I don't, I don't know, you know. I, I just don't know. Is something up at the radio right now? The frequency? I, I mean, is this an interference with anything? I I don't know, but let me try removing the CV. I mean, I have had enough at this point. But remove this CV. Yeah, okay, it's not the CV. Um, I don't I don't know. In that case, what's going on with this thing? Um, maybe it's a bad speaker. Um, maybe if we put a whistle chip in there. Um, I'm gonna get the whistle chip in here. Okay, the whistle chip's not sufficient. 
Yeah, it might be a bad speaker, but I, I have to go and get a speaker. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with this. And I don't think we missed any parts. Everything looks satisfactory here, doesn't it? I mean, I can hold out the manual for you. Just like this. Alright, just like that. And drop a comment if you see anything wrong. So, I, so that I can fix it. But, I don't know what's going on with this. But I'm going to have to end it here. And I'll see, I'll see if I can get this thing resolved. And... If, if I do, I'll make another video and edit these two together so that you can see what I did. And, well, see you until something else happens. Alright, here I am back with Snapstrokes SC750 Extreme, project number 623 AM radio with power LEDs. I built it and it was unsuccessful. It only made a very loud screeching noise. And everything seemed to be built correctly. So this is the troubleshooting part now. Uh, troubleshooting part. And we're going to see exactly what went wrong because this is what it does right now. That's what it does right now. That's all it does. So let's do a full check and let's make sure everything we built correctly is correct. Alright, alright. So here we have B1 battery. Check. Uh, correct position. A, B, C, D, E. Yep, that is in the correct position. Check. All right, B1 battery part two, check. All right, and then moving on to the six, A1, check, going up there, all right. And then seven down here, looks like we have correct. All right, good, check. And then this is all check. Um, we also have this two, it's check, check. I don't know, uh, check, check C4, check five, check C2, check CV, Check A1, check U5, check 2, check 2, check 2, check 2, check speaker, check 3, check 2, check 2, check D3, check resistor, check D1, check D2, Check two, check two, check two, check two, check two, check two, check U4, check R4, check C4, check five. Yeah, it seems like we've checked everything at this point and it's still not working properly. Uh, maybe it's bad part somewhere. Maybe we have bad reception. Um, this is very, this is very puzzling. So you see the... Uh, this is very interesting, um, I don't know what's going on, but... Very interesting, uh, I don't know. It's still... I still... I don't know, I might hear people talking in there just a little bit, but I don't know. Um, yeah, something is definitely up here. I don't think it's a... Oh. Yeah, this is definitely not right. I'm not sure what's going on here, but this is very... Very interesting, you know. There's a three here. I'm not sure if the orientation of threes really matter, but I'm gonna check it. Ow. Apparently that did not fix it. So, I don't know. Uh, we might have a bad CV, it was pretty beat up. I don't know why. I mean, it was in here. And I don't know. This is pretty fishy. Yeah, this is pretty fish. Um, I'm not sure what to say, but I think I think we've come to the end of our guessing game. Um, and I think this project has been officially declared unsuccessful from project number 623 AM radio with power LEDs. 
and I'm absolutely sure I'm operating it correctly. Um, so yeah, we declared it unsuccessful, unfortunately. Snapster to Jesse 750 Extreme, and well, goodbye.